Obama could not stop this pipeline if he wanted to. This leg of the pipeline from Oklahoma to Texas was in the works. He doesn't have the authority. Not that that would stop him, by the way, but he doesn't have the authority to stop it. According to the U.S. House Energy and Commerce Committee, there is only one category of pipeline that requires presidential approval. That's an international pipeline, like the originally proposed version of Keystone XL, which would be from Canada, which for those of you in Rio Linda would make it international, down through um, Nebraska, other northern plain states into Oklahoma, then into Texas. So Obama could not have stopped this leg of the Keystone Pipeline if he'd wanted to. It was already in place. He's simply there. Uh, there's no other way. There's, he's just glomming onto it. It's it's uh, it, it, it's like trying to be present when the Ten Commandments are written on a burning bush and claiming you wrote them. It's just uh, I, I I'm I'm almost speechless here with the absolute brazenness of this. I I wouldn't be surprised if Obama says I've laid more pipe than any president except Bill Clinton. That's where we're headed with this. A guy who steadfastly opposes drilling for oil and has not issued any permits to speak of, particularly since his Gulf oil drilling moratorium. The guy who has made his name opposing the Keystone Pipeline is now out. Taking credit for it and trying to make people believe in this country that the entire Keystone Pipeline today has just been authorized and oil is going to be flowing through it. Never has it been more obvious. Without the media, Barack Obama would not have a chance. Without the media, Barack Obama would be a national joke. But he has the media. He has the largest propaganda arm that a president has ever had. He has people willing to lie. He has people willing to publish his lies. He has people willing to work with him against the best interests of the people of this country. And I've been alive 61 years, and I have never seen anything like this. I'm telling you, there's always been media bias. And the media were sickeningly slavish to things like Camelot, JFK, and Clinton. But this is unprecedented. Yeah, I know, they carried the water for Clinton for a while, and Monica Lewinsky, the, the, that whole event. But even they drew some lines there. This has no boundaries, whatever it takes. The only thing that a president can stop, again, is an international pipeline. In fact, the Keystone XL pipeline is the first international pipeline that has ever been denied by a president. Keystone is the first international pipeline ever denied. And he was denying it as recently as Monday. And he was criticizing it as recently as Tuesday. And he was telling people that there was no silver bullet or magic bullet to any new oil in this, however we got it, via drilling or via pipeline. And in a space of less than 48 hours, we have had the equivalent of an atheist become the Pope on oil and on energy. The Keystone XL pipeline is the first time in history a presidential permit for a cross-border pipeline has ever been denied. And that's why I think it ain't going to be long before Obama starts bragging about how much pipe he's laid. Start comparing himself to other presidents. I've laid more pipe than any president except Bill Clinton. He's got to throw Clinton in there for credibility. Obama does not control this segment of the pipeline's permitting process. It also says something about the guy's character. He's going to go out there and take credit for this 
when people like him would not allow it if they had the chance. Hard-working private sector Americans have done this to try to overcome the obstacle that he represents, and now he's out taking credit for their work? Every bit of this is irritating. 